Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Group 23. As you can see, these are our team members and our email addresses. Thank you for your time, and our presentation starts now. Good morning, everyone. Now it is a presentation of Group 23, and I will talk about executive summary and introduction. In the past, many recruiters and companies will always require applicants to have certain personal skills or abilities. However, with the continuous changes in the external social environment and industrial environment, certain industries have begun to increase their requirements for new skills, like transferable skills. Today, transferable skills is becoming more and more important. It can determine whether many graduates and job seekers can find a suitable job for them. At the same time, many students and job seekers still don't know what personal transferable skills are, but many companies and organizations want their applicants have many good transferable skills so that they can make more contributions to their companies. Personal transferable skills can help employees adapt to different work environments and work content faster. So many schools are trying to improve their students competitiveness in job funding process during encourage them to develop and process their own transferable skills. So this kind of transferable skill is valuable for some company. Although this skill has nothing to do with your personal, with your professional knowledge and according to this research report, communication skill and problem solving skill are very important for these two job companies. That's all I have to say about my part. Next speaker is Kui Ming Deng. All right, I'm Kui Ming Deng, and I will talk about literature review. The first is understand the definition of knowledge gap, cost, and specific performance. Knowledge gap, also known as knowledge distance refers to the difference in knowledge base between the two parties or the similarity in knowledge mastered by both parties. Knowledge distance includes management knowledge distance and technical knowledge distance. The knowledge distance between knowledge source and knowledge recipients is an objective, which is determined to some extent by the highly specialized social division of labor. The second is the influence of knowledge gap on job selection of words and the mode and distribution of talent selection of recruiters. It can be seen from the above that in the large working environments such as a commercial company government or public unit. They are also they also have different working department and the professional knowledge involved in this department is also different. Thus forming the so-called knowledge gap, then for employer or companies or public units will select candidates according to their professional knowledge, personal ability and character, and transfer them to different jobs. And third, the form of knowledge gap is also different in different environments. Knowledge gap in different environments can also lead to con cognitive biases, which can also lead to biases. The cause of this situation is the different and blank of professional knowledge. So that other have unnecessary quality prejudice and even mature discrimination. Cognitive Psychology, meanwhile, believe that knowledge is organized in the brain. Therefore, the all, the knowledge transfer is more efficient if the knowledge to be identified is organized according to the knowledge in the brain. Therefore, in face of knowledge gap, we can only face out to their own cognitive definition in some aspect and study hard. And now, welcome Han Chen Zhang to talking about results and finding. Results and finding stand for 
Cantonese speaking. Now, I would like to give some explanation about our routes and the findings. Firstly, it is used in investigation and observations as research methods. We calculate the value of different skills and against the table find that it clears that communication is a summary of 240 job advertisements and that the recruiter wants the necessary and the mastered abilities of the employed most, which a score of 108 the second problem solving and self management with a score of 84 teamwork and in mid uh, APA for enterprise shared the third place accounting for 76 points, Lishi performed last with only 48 points and only 44% of communication regardless of the percentage of scores. We all believe that these transferable skills are values assessed for entering future careers. Discussion. Look at the pie chart. It divided by far part equally. 20% each. It seems that communication is a basic but significant skill. Menton 1999 stated that PTS referred to those skills which are not specific to the subjects that uh, students are studying but which employers attach great importance to problem solving, including uh, analysis, application, decision, and other elements which are necessary for an excellent employment participant and a vivid manifestation of the of self-learning ability. After embarking on the road of job hunting, there are no teachers to rely on. Facing new things and new problems, candidates have to rely more on themselves to solve. With the passage of time, the command increased effect of this progress will become more and more obvious. From picture of white corner bottom, teamwork deserves to explain it. Through effective cooperation, team members can inspire motivation and inspiration, thus promoting the efficiency of teamwork. Therefore, the employed uh, must learn and master how to find their own position in the team, give full play to their own utility, and accurately maximize the team effectiveness. In a word, it is very necessary to set the transferable skills as cross in college courses, it can increase students' basic skills, improve their own competitiveness, and uh, provide strong support when facing career choices in the future. My part is over. Thank you for attention. Hi, everyone. I'm Zhixiang Bao, and uh, I will talk about expand coverage one. Uh, as you can see in our group recruitment advice chasing skill stated that communication is the top one skill both of account manage and finance manage. So why is the communication so important? Carol Max uh says that the human sense in no objection inherent inherent in each single individual. In its reality, it is the ensemble of the social rela relations. Communication is the most important business skill. Business communication occurs between two or more parties to a transaction. It can promote friendly exchange between partners and promote economic development. The success of an uh, enterprise depends on the effectiveness of business communication. Communication is critical in all aspects of business and requires skill at all levels of staff. The first is help leaders to build a great team. Leaders with strong communication ability can encourage employees to achieve common goals and through an open exchange of oral and writing. Teams know when they are respective responsibility and can seek help. And the second is help employees to encourage comments. Through effective Communication employees in the workplace have more confidence to talk about to each other and they can experience their view on operations through management. And the third is help salesmen to enhance customer relationships. Without customers, the business, in, the business is not successful. Effective communication with customers is an important way to build loyalty. Whether it is selling product, deliver of product or providing service. It is necessary to listen 
listen to and understand the needs of customers. And uh, the last one is help the company to enforce regulations. Each company has a set of policies and regulations to make the organization to be successful. Managers should uh, let staff clearly understand the reality re related uh, regulations, which needs to develop strong communication skills. Uh, that's all. Secondly, in our analysis of job and skill, problem solving skills refer to the ability to identify, analyze, and describe problems or group of problems. Considering the context and impact of problems, applying knowledge in proposing and reviewing various situations, determine the most appropriate solution, and find ways to implement those solutions. Problem solving skills can help you determine why a problem is occurring and how to fix it. Like the most job is, problem solving is a kind of hard power that can be acquired through systematic training and classes. It's more like soft power or personal strength. If you want to in enhance their ability in certain industry, you need to have a certain familiarity with the industry, or you could communicate with staff who is capable in this industry. The importance of problem solving skills not only depends on the size of the company the application works for, but also on different occupations. For example, if the applicant's truth of job is the accounting manager, most companies will require candidates to have a skill to check financial statements. At the same time, the, the worker should have a higher level of mathematics. However, if you choose to be a position a financial manager, then a good command of various financial instruments is the basis for the applicant to have a good ability to solve problems. Candidates with above qualification can be considered as having excellent problem ability if they can uh, independently and actively analyze problems and uh, proposing coping strategy when they are financial problems they need to be solved. Okay, thank you all of you for the information. My name is Silani Hamasha and I'm going to talk about in conclusion for our group today. So learning this level skill has become an essential lecture for students who are about to get ready before working. By understanding this soft skill, students can improve their weaknesses, gain experience and succeed in the workplace. Employer will choose the best people for their company. The students should not believe that they have learned everything there is, but later they should have open mind about the need for continued education, that they will need to keep learning and going to succeed in the working place. Oh, sorry, working world. So employer, employee need to be supported in them continuing education to uh, turning uh, event and other chances to gain a new skill. So employer need to do that same. Successful require both academic learning and interpersonal practice skill to, to help students gain the necessary skill sets need for a new uh, a future current. College should teach students more uh, transferable, transferable skills than specific ones that can only use in a few jobs and help get ways to make more connection. So that being the presentation to the end. Thank you for your attention to listening our presentation today. Thank you.